now here we'll have to attach dtune in modern vsd we find dtune the semitones octave etc so just go insert and go to controllers controls and detuner and connect it with pitch next right click find go to properties and change small knob to knob and change the automation to high to 0 0.5 Next, right click octave, go to automation, change it to true, and same for note. Now, again, go to panel edit and place them. Next here, attach a MIDI to CV. Connect it with gate to gate, pitch to pitch. select them right click cut and go insert container double click and paste change this name to saw synth change controls and modules to true controls and panels to true and then right click MIDI to CV go to properties change the polyphony to 8 or if you wish you can increase further more such as 10 or 12 polyphony reserves reserved to 4 then to control port menu time and control mono mode and re-trigger just insert controls knob sm knob small and right click properties uh, change its name to port aventure time so port aventure go inside this um, knob change the text the text name to port aventure right click 
go to automation and change it to now connect it with port inventor and lock it then if you wish you can control the mono mode and read trigger so to control it just insert controls and list entry connect it with mono mode off on and change its name mono mono off on and then I'm changing the appearance to LED label stacked then copy and paste connect it with retrieval change it to true true now connect it with I mod spare in and then right click panel edit and place the red trigger the mono on off and this so right click go to sub view panel unlock it and place it port event then change its position something here so our synth is almost done this is the final container to control the MIDI in insert MIDI in next go to this module and add two more IO mods and connect left and right then insert sound out module and connect this 
Asynth is almost ready. However, you can test it. So to test it, just add keyboard connect it. 